So Grok with K is a large language model by X. And now it's not just version number one, it's version 1.5. And this large language model should be unleashed. It should not be censored in any case. And John here has access to Grok and he will tell us a little bit about how unleashed is Grok, John? <laughs> so, you know, I resisted upgrading my subscription to X. And the reason I so rudely interrupted you a few seconds ago was that every time I retweet something, and I'm just going to say it, retweet, you know, it's like, what is it, re-X, you know? I mean, it just sounds ridiculous. So even if you look on the search engine, you'll see Twitter X. You know, it's. Uh, I don't think Twitter will ever go away, no matter how much it's branded. But to the point. So I finally upgraded my subscription, not to particularly get Grok, but there's some extra benefits involved in terms of reach and um, trying to grow my X account. For those of you that don't know me, I will shamelessly plug myself check out my art at digitally wired on x but grok is interesting as you all know we've been talking about these language models for the last couple of months years now perhaps and people have been saying to me i can't wait to get to grok i can't wait because it's unwoke you know it's, it's it'll let me do what i want it to do and you know i've asked some of these people what they wanted to do and i'm not going to repeat that on air here and it's interesting we actually <laughs> did have a discussion why not no but well it goes to the discussion that we had you know as a team here in terms of trying to find out, you know, whether Grok was woke or not. And, you know, the questions that the team brought up in, you know, many of the questions I felt just would not be appropriate to put into a search engine. You know, for example, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, how to make a bomb, for instance. I mean, I'm a, a demolitions expert, so I know how to do it, but I'm not going to type that into a search engine. I mean, that, that would not be a good thing to do. I thought the so, thing that was funny enough when you were gathering the information, I would give you topics and you were like, well, that's not controversial enough. And then we'd give you other ones and you're like, oh, that's I'm not going to put that in. That's too controversial. So it was a very interesting uh, exercise. Well, you don't know who's watching and I don't want to be known for someone who's either, you know, putting something in there for nefarious purposes or you know, hate crime or anything like that at all and so i like to be careful and abide by the rules but you know i did find that when you asked grok about certain political opinions for instance we did ask grok about some of the uh, people way back in history that were thought of as being you know not nice people including you know hitler stalin mao and you know when you ask open AI this, it comes back with some pretty blunt answers in terms of, you know, number of people killed, tortured, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. When you ask Grok it, it sort of glosses over the fact that there were atrocities committed. And so, yeah, there are differences, but, you know, Grok has a long way to go. This week, supposedly, we're going to see, you know, the next release of Grok, but until it comes an integrated product, right? So right now, the only way I see for me to get that content that I generated out with Grok is to tweet it, which, you know, I may not necessarily want to do. I tend to use these LLMs as tools right you know to put pieces together to assemble things using one tool and then another tool and um so grok really doesn't do it for me at this point sorry to say maybe i'll have better news next time thank you back to okay. you yeah so so are we having hopes by putting um talking about grok first that uh the X brand or Elon Musk will sponsor this television show. I mean, somebody got recently like five million dollars to possibly have a show there that blew that up. So, you know, maybe we could be next in line. Are you hoping for that kind of a sponsorship? Because I mean, 
that would be nice. Well, you did put him first here. Well, that would be nice. And after all, I am his old homeboy, right? Even though we were <laughs> separated by many, many years, grew up in the same neighborhood, went to the same schools. So, yeah, if he's listening, he could use a few million. We've got some amazing projects. And anyone out there, actually, that has a few million dollars that would like to donate to us, please check out our YouTube channel at Virtual Film Company. We are also working on our website. We decided to upgrade that. So right now, site is under construction. But we are a nonprofit, and so you can donate money to us. If you need to find out how, check out the YouTube videos. There's instructions there, or send us an email or contact us. Uh, we'd love to hear from you, particularly if you'd like to give us money. So on <laughs> with the show. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, OK. Definitely, John, you're 100% right. Well put. So, um, yeah, that's about Grok, and obviously it's not that unleashed, or we will see what's happening. I mean, maybe in the next two weeks, we will see Grok 2.0 at that fast, that pace what they go at the moment. 